I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger traveling through this land of woe. There's no sickness, toil, or danger in this bright world in which I go. All right, on the last episode of Viridian, we encountered some people that knew Carrick's mom. And apparently he is revered by them by proxy. And there was a mention of his mother going into a mysterious light mountain. Well, a mountain bathed in electrical light, it appears. And thus, we descend further into the darkness. Carrick, I believe you're doing an expedition out to the mountain. Yeah. Um... It's funny you say we're going into the darkness, but that's clearly a pillar of light. So everybody just got freaked out when I showed them that my friends were sick. Mm -hmm. And we need to get out of there. We know there are at least two different varieties of danger on the road, but we don't know what they represent because it was lost in translation. They both started with ah noises. That's all I know. Yeah. So I'm going to tell everybody, like, peak caution heads on a swivel this road is going to be dangerous yeah we weren't made aware of the dangers were we yeah no no we don't i could not translate what he was talking about so it did seem like proper names though but there are at least two different could be creatures could be terrain hazards could be anything i don't know so we're just gonna have to be cautious and take it slow, infuriating as that is. All right, so we'll just approach it as we always do. Just keep a blade ready, I guess, or a bow, yeah, yeah. or fist. Fuck it, proverbial weapon. <laughs> so there, there's a clear path we can follow in the direction of this mountain, or is it like roughing it? Well, right now you went up an incline to get to this cave, as I yeah. mentioned with uh, Desmith puking off the side of this edge, Mm. that there is a bit of a drop right now. You can go down the cavern path, and from there, uh, circle back to that fork in the road that you had previously. Mm. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we'll do that, I guess. What do we want to do for a marching order, guys? Um, I guess I can be in front as usual. You don't want me to be in front? I think you and I usually handle the front kind of together. I, yeah, is that the case? I, I feel like you know both tanks. You know, one handles the front, the other one handles the back, and then the squishy types right in the middle. You know what? Yeah, Let's but, do it that way. That's a lot safer. I I tank though. That's my build. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you also you also specialize more in the long range. We don't need that. I still say my. One of y'all, one of y'all watch the back. One of y'all watch the front. I (laughs) listen. I'll go first. All right, all right. I'll, I'll, I'll hang in front with Desmond. I mean, the path is big enough that we can go too wide, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll hang in the front with Desmond, and Cross can cover the back, and Embrin can stay in the middle with the with the bow out. Okay. Hell yeah. So. Uh, as you descend further down the mountain, and what it looks like from the overpass was that it was the middle path that you'd be taking to Light Mountain. We're in the woods. Indeed. More of this stuff I've just not experienced ever before. Great. <laughs> it's all in that weird shade of Viridian that you saw at the beginning when you first exited the spire. Just like the quality of light even has that greenish cast, right? Yeah, exactly. Just assume that what you're looking at doesn't look as lush of a forest area. Uh, okay. And it's more of that weird blue-green I just described. Put okay. the skunk filter over it. Yeah. <laughs> look, you think I have a budget for this shit? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have that sage money. We're getting there. We're getting God there. damn it. Wonder where that lightning bolt came from, Carrick. <laughs> It'd be a real shame if it hit you. I believe my boy Cross can tell you in Elvish where that lightning bolt came from. <laughs> from pig's anus? Oh, yeah, pig's anus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All I'm saying is that the moment you say you won't, I will. 
<laughs> say you will, say you won't, say you'll do what I don't. <laughs> I so, like, hmm. our... What do we even call you folks? You clay, guys are clearly not heroes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Don't lump me in with that group, all right? <laughs> I'm a hero. <laughs> guilty by association is still guilty. Yeah. Are, you, are you a hero to, with when you teaming up with uh, Decimeth? Uh... Actually, we're not heroes, are we? What the hell did we save? Didn't we leave like a party? <laughs> I feel like Decimeth and I just cancel each other out, so what the party is called is based on Krusk and Embrin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. oh, no. Krusk's alignment is lawful door, so that's out. Uh, yeah, that's so it just true. comes down to Embrin, I guess. <laughs> Our protagonists are traversing the woods, shall we say. <laughs> the thick canopy of trees surround the weird stony path that is underneath their feet. And as the cops of trees surround them, and as they progress further deeper into the woods. You feel a slick wetness upon your nose, Emberin. Oh, man. Are there any signs of life here? Perception check. Not that you can see. Nice. Just a, a, a gentleman's four. <laughs> a gentleman's four. I have taken a wad of rag and tied it mask-like to sit under my nose and around the back of my head it looks dumb but i gotta i, I kind of need to not deal with that right now uh, maybe covering up your nose is for the best it could be a reaction to something you're breathing just hold your head up and put, it'll put the blood back in your head Embrin, roll me a perception check no oh, no uh, we can't have done any worse than i did oh <laughs> wait <laughs> there is a small margin to do worse than a four all right, 16 total. Embrin, your eyes narrow, and you notice in the distance there is a small silver-like haze that appears just over the horizon. Does anybody see that on the horizon? Some kind of smoke? So yes. can, can we see it then, I assume? Roll me perception. Okay. Yes, sir, Mr. Zoob, sir. A rustle of trees in the distance. Something is moving towards you and fast. Get ready. On your guard, okay. everyone. We're about to get some action. I'm going to draw my weapon. Tessimuth, we may have to character assassinate these guys. Oh, it's my, that's my <laughs> favorite. It's, it's, it's a favorite hobby of mine to character assassinate. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I get for trying to use my think meat. <laughs> I wish I had a long range attack so I could just blind fire into the into the brush. Think mean, huh? Damn, if only we knew somebody who fit that description. If if only we had somebody that perhaps used some sort of electricity to pass through his hand to cause damage to uh people that would do him harm. We don't know nobody like that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't, it's true. Man, we don't even know what's coming at us yet. Could be a giant bunny rabbit with presents for all we know. Oh, yeah, then my sword's out. First of all, what's a bunny rabbit? I saw it in a book. Yeah, true. <laughs> it's a fluffy thing, and it's got ears. Oh, okay. Long banana ears. I'm going to rage because I don't know what's out there, but it makes me really angry. I, I got this. Cowards, show yourself. Hold on. <laughs> I, I'm going to call, just in case it's like a hunting party of our new friends, I'm going to call out an elf and hold, who goes there? Oh, that's probably better. I liked your idea better, Decimus. As Carrick says that, you hear a series of voices that seem to centralize from one source. Four. They're telling them our numbers. They can <laughs> count. That means they have mathematics. Be afraid, friends. Be afraid. <laughs> no, they can't because Krusk is worth a hundred people. <laughs> They just say four? That's all they, are they out there playing golf? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god, please let a golf ball hit us in the head. That would be amazing. <laughs> well, you're not technically surprised, but something flies out of the brush and narrowly oh. whizzes past Krusk's head. Wait, wait. Is it... Did it narrowly whisk by me? No. 
Damn, You're not in okay. the right position for that. Man, all right. All right, it's going to be like that, I guess. Shall we roll initiative? Died. All right. Are we rolling initiative? Might as well. A four is the lucky number today. Yeah, seriously. We got a four followed by a 16. Then these clowns yelled four at us. <laughs> Ain't this about a bitch? Wow. Damn, Crutch, you don't need a do-over. Fucking four. Wow, we are aspiring for excellence today, I see. <laughs> I think Embrin is the only person to like consistently roll double digits. Please, please go, <laughs> please go easy on us, Zub. We bruise easily. You've never no, been hit. Yeah, I... What are you talking about? Huh? <laughs> no, I've been hit plenty of times. <laughs> I believe you told me in a previous encounter that quote, "I have never been hit." Quote, I always come out mm-hmm, unscathed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you for you forget literally the first episode I appeared in, I got knocked the fuck out. <laughs> that's that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> that was your dramatic appearance. Yeah. Those first impressions, right? I got backfisted into oblivion. Never got but touched since that day. <laughs> never, never was touched. Perfect record. Man, never, never felt the hands. Ember, and it's your Did turn. Did I get a look at the projectile that whizzed by Krusk? It looks like some kind of stone. A stone. They got mm-hmm. slingers over there. I don't believe, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't believe I have a clear view of the individuals that cast the first stone. Nope. Just fuzzy silver stuff over that way. Yep. Okay. Well, I am going to, while readying my bow, move in the direction the stone came from to see if I can get a better view. It was over in the northeast, as it were. Northeast, okay. Mm hmm. So, upper left. You, okay. Yep. Do I see anything around this rock? Roll me a perception check. More fours. Two of them for eight. Damn. It's going to be all that off. kind of day. Your eyes strain. There is a pattern of light, silvery light, that comes directly ahead of you, it seems. But it's muted by the rest of the weird. Viridian monochrome that's happening right now. Weird. I will call back. I don't see people. I see shapes, but I don't see people. That's going to be my turn. because I'm not going to take a shot if I don't have okay. a clear target. Makes sense. This one moves forward. You see something in the underbrush approaching you and fast. Great. You'll be fine. I believe in you. Oh, you know what? Coming from you, Decimus, that actually means a lot. Thanks. Yep. Now hold their attention. Of course. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Look, don't think I didn't know what this was. <laughs> from the underbrush you see, well, everyone sees, what appears to be a humanoid, and it's lined in these long, thick black veins that pulse down its arms. Where have we seen that before? Its eyes almost leaking out of its sockets. E. And it flings a stone at Emperor. Rude. Yeah, I know, right? Apologize for that. 18 hits? That's probably more than my armor class. Oh, yeah. Six points of damage as a stone... Oh, fuck. That hurt. ...plunks itself in. Yeah. Just smashes you in the, in the chest. Ow. Got those armor-piercing stones. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. (laughs) Another thing rushes through the underbrush. And there's a giant rock that is basically an elevation point from your current vantage location, Embrin. Yeah, so he's up above me right now. Yeah. Looking at the graphic. Very similar looking thing. Also hurls a stone at you. Ooh. Oh, she does. I would like to use my reaction to project my ward on her. Okay. So I will take the six damage on my ward. Okay. Well, for what it's worth, the stone goes careening into the brush. Like somewhere far into the right. Oh, that one was a miss? Oh, yeah. So I'm not going to... Complete miss. I thought that was a hit. All right. Never mind. It's very similar in appearance to the last roll, so I get it. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh. Man, these guys are jerks. Desmith, it's your turn. There's Finally. gotta be some shadows over there someplace. We've, and we've got we've got clear uh vision on at least one of them now. You definitely have clear vision on this one. 
This one? Yeah, that one is like right next to me. He is going to get this work. I'm going to be honest with you. All right, is that a is that a mm. hole or a half bean that you're giving me? A whole bean. Mm. I'm keeping it a whole bean. I Shit. am going to attempt to attack this man. It has been a long time. What is? I think I I think I'm D one D twenty plus six. It would be your dex because you use martial arts. My dex one D one D twenty plus four plus proficiency, right? Oh my goodness! I, oof. I'm gonna be honest. Don't think yeah, I need it. That's fair. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna attack. So that's one d six plus four. Yep. Bonks. Come on, man. Five. The young bow uh, doesn't hit hard into the shoulder as he would have liked it to. <laughs> Not the uh, young bow. <laughs> All right. That was that was you know with the the old uh, punch, and then I'm gonna attack him again with a back fist. Uh, Zoob, does an eleven hit? No. Your back fist whizzes past as it as it ducks. Ah, a, gen- a gentleman's five damage I've done. Now now I'm going to incorporate my next special ability, uh, run away. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest hits. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Carrick. Right between the two tanks. I'm going to move myself here. Okay. So that I can better work with all of my teammates, and I will Ray of Frost. Okay. On the uh, the the one that just took the young elbow. It was indeed quite young. Immature, if you will. Oh damn! I, I will. I will. Oh man. Wow. No, dude. No ice crew can. We're just Where rolling you? ass today. <laughs> so. Rolling pig's anus. You do see the ray of frost <laughs> narrowly skirt past its ears. And you can see, Carrick, that it seems to have had, at one point, shared heritage with you. Like it's selfish? Like it is a de-evolved humanoid? Well, I was... Saying that it used to be an elf. Oh. Oh. That's uncomfortable. Frosk, it's your turn. Oh, okay. So, I'm gonna get to his side here. Frosk's sword hits pay dirt as his sword bites deep into this thing's hide armor. The gold standard? Wait, what? Roll roll (laughs) damage. You hit it. Yeah, you hit it. Oh, I know that. I was just doing that because this dude just said gold standard. I was like, wait, yeah, because he, he said Shelton Benjamin and paid her. Oh, <laughs> wow. That is a deep Shelton cut. Benjamin no one's going to get shit. it. It's, yeah, <laughs> no. Even Zoo, which I consider you a far more wrestling, uh, bigger wrestling nerd than me, didn't get it. So That took me a whole three minutes before you finally like. <laughs> I did 11. Prusk's sword bites deep into the whatever this elf thing used to be. Or is currently. What is tense? Yes. <laughs> Significant cut. <It's> really? <laughs> Significant cut. A gold standard of a cut, if you will. Oh my god. <laughs> I, w- I will. I would. Thank you very much. So Krusk's sword slashes through once more as four very strangely precise, uncharacteristic strikes smash into this thing. And it looks pretty bad. Oh, but it's still alive. Okay. Yeah. And Brynn, it's your turn. All right. I am first going to move away from the cliff so that maybe I can at least see this guy. And also so he can't mm-hmm. just drop rocks on top of me. That feels like sure. a good purse play. So we'll move like like there. About 20, 25 feet to the right. And then this guy's still up? Yeah. Okay. Man, I don't have the clearest shot on either of them, do I? Well, whatever. I will channel out my Hunter's Mark as a bonus action on the goopy boy engaged with Krusk. And then I will aim my longbow and fire. Alrighty. Yes, your uh, bow rings true and smashes into this thing. Nice. Six damage. All right. Oh, six damage. This Does that was include Hunter's Mark too, right? Yeah. Okay. Plus Colossus Slayer. Yes, I will apply Colossus Slayer. Another one d eight. 
Yippee! Oh, <laughs> you hate to see it. Well, a whopping 37 damage has been done to this thing. And it's still standing, huh? Yep. Oh my god, this is unacceptable. Hang on, I'm so sorry. I'm Rusty too. Yeah, I I sure did apply Hunter's Mark. Let me add that 1d6. Plus 1d6. Oh, and you also should have a second attack. It's true. Could I? Yes, you do. Yeah, because Hunter's Mark was a bonus action. It's true. Okay. See, Alex? Everybody get Rusty. <laughs> Not me, I'm perfect. And that's you are good. a perfect hamburger, it's true. <laughs> All right, I fire another shot because it's clearly still standing at this point, right? Yes. Okay. Swing. All right. With a dirty 20, you hit it. Okay, so another 15 damage total, Zub. What is your anime death sequence? You said its eyes were oozing, right? Yep. So the first arrow didn't quite hit the mark. It hits it more like in the eyebrow region, not quite in the eye. The second one hits in the eye out the back, and it drops a sopping sorry mess of a being well what once was a being all right was that gross did i do it <laughs> you did <laughs> yeah it was it was pretty it was pretty gross uh, i feel like i need to take a shower after that description awesome <laughs> and uh as you do that you hear a strange crooning sifting out in the woods somewhere and your nose well, your nose has never hasn't stopped bleeding, so does it bleed more? <laughs> just a little bit more. Ugh. And the wails continue to carry from the copse of trees in the distance. Special thanks to our logo designer Sierra Twazen, to Toys and Things in Danvers, Massachusetts, Reaper Miniatures, and Mongoose Publishing. If you enjoy the show, help the podcast grow. Give us a follow on Twitter at Lords Broken. Join the community Discord. And maybe consider offering a small tribute to the old ones on our Ko-Fi. All these links and more can be found in our link tree at linktr.ee forward slash thebrokenlords. Thank you.